if you haven't tried this oilless okra i don't know what you're waiting for so i recently changed my diet and i'm trying more healthy options and when i came across this oilless okra i was like i'm definitely trying this so this oilless okra is so delicious low in calorie and of course it's oil free so i mean that should be enough to convince you so i'm going to be showing you how i made mine and let me know if something that you're open to or you must have oil in your soup let's go guys i think one of the things i was bothered about was the color because i was like how can i eat something that had no oil but it wasn't as bad as i thought like color wise it was reddish yeah before we start let me finish this one first then i'll come back and show you what, how i made mine see you so first of all you need a pot a big pot if you're like me then you're going to add about two to three cups of water i i wasn't going to be bothered to get my cups but it's two to three cups of water if you have stock big stock beef stock chicken stock you can add that but i didn't have so i just used water they are going to add locust beans or how we call it from where i am where i am from mm -hmm. iru oh no my own side we call it bevy yes so we're going to also add um crayfish this will just add extra flavor to the soup then i went with my crushed chicken stock you can add any you can ever have, add curry if you like but me i'm just going to add chicken stock and salt you can add curry at time i just like mine simple so i'm just going to add i did um i, I roughly blended scotch bonnet red bear pepper and um, what's the name of the last one again cayenne pepper yeah and i added onion so i roughly blended that and i also added my smoked fish i air fried some chicken tires because i don't fry my chicken again that's the story for another day then i also went in with my beef my shaki my cow leg because in my kind of diet i need more protein so i just went with, with all i got if you have any more to add you can add that i left that to cook for 10 minutes and when my 10 minutes was up you can see that everything has been thoroughly combined you can see you can even use this and just drink pepper soup <laughs> but let's not be distracted guys let's continue so after that i'm just going to add in my okra which i blended using the food processor you can use you can chop yours you can blend yours you can grind yours whatever is your option you can do that then i'm just going to stir until it is properly combined you can just see everything yeah so i've stirred it and i'm just going to allow it cook for five to ten minutes i don't really like to overcook my okra then after that i added in my pumpkin because this soup it's it has no option not to be healthy so i went in my pumpkin you can add in you can use kale you can use spinach you can use whatever vegetable of your choice then once i added in my vegetable i allowed it to cook for just five minutes because i don't want the vegetable to overcook this is me just stirring and just then um, at some point my hand was paining me but i'm staring so everything will just enter <laughs> i don't know the english but yes yeah and basically just i like it for that five minutes and the food is ready like it's so easy to make it's super delicious let me know if it's what you are open to once you have to or once you add oil to your soup like the soup is even red safe you get thank you for watching until the next time. Bye.